Hello everyone my name is Veer and this is the third part of Selenium web driver architecture explanation series so let's get started so in this video what we are going to see is we are going to understand more selenium commands and how that commands internally work so uh, this video will be focusing on get active element command whether they uh, to identify the element is selected or not get text get attribute then how we can get the properties how we can get the element tag where, uh, how we can identify whether the element is enabled or disabled and how we can get the page source and how we can get all cookies so we will be going to see how the all these commands internally work in this particular video so what i'll do i'll quickly jump to a terminal and let's start off our selenium uh, standalone server and from there we can get started so for that command is java hyphen jar selenium server jar file and uh, as i'm running it in a standalone mode the command will uh, the parameter will be standalone so once you do this what it will basically does is it spin up a selenium grid on your local machine so if you could see it had started uh, i'll quickly open that link to show you that whether the selenium grid has been started or not so if you could see over here it had started spinning up a selenium grid on this particular ip address okay now uh, for ready reference what i have done is you know i had created certain post request or get request in order to you know save some time for our execution so what i'll do i'll i'll just uh, explain you each command once i execute those commands so so in the previous videos i have already explained the create session command so i'll not waste time over there so what i'll do over here i'll just hit this particular command or a api request so basically what it does it, it creates a new session so if you could see right it had started one browser session uh, through this particular command so what i'll do i'll just you know make this bit properly arranged so that you could see so if you could see uh, now the browser has been opened now let's try to open a url under this particular session so what uh, url i am opening over here so i am going to open admin demo .com. so this website will be opened in this particular web chrome driver session or in this particular browser so once i hit this particular thing you would see something happening over here and if you could see right it is opening you the website okay now let's try to find out the active element so in my session i uh, slides i have shown uh, sh shown you that we are going to see most of the get commands how we are getting certain ele element properties or element details in this particular video so if you could see the cursor is at this particular position right so uh, so the so the url for this is not uh, it looks like the base url so in in our case the base url will be the path of the selenium grid where the uh, selenium grid is running then next path parameter that we require is session so we are passing the session id and then element and active so this is the uh, path that uh, that tells uh, selenium web driver to identify a active element so if i hit this particular command so if you could see right it returns your one element okay and if you if you you know see over here right it returns a element so basically it is re returning a active element okay so this is your active element so how you know make sure that you know this is the active element so what i done is you know, i had copied that particular value in one of the variable called as element id okay and you know let's try to get attribute of that particular element id let's say a class okay so uh, the next command that i'll uh, trying to show you is get attribute okay so I'll, I'll explain you what are the different attributes that you can get uh, first of all you know let's try to execute this particular 
uh, request and then i'll explain you so if you could hit this thing right so it it returns your class value as a email okay now uh, let's try to understand this particular command what it requires so it requires a session it requires a element id and it requires what attributes you wanted to find okay so the the syntax is like this you have to pass the session followed by the session id uh, then you have to pass the slash element then followed by element id then attribute followed by the attribute name so this is the entire url that you need to pass in order to find an element and this is exactly happening behind the scenes when you when you know you are trying to get the attribute of an element okay now let's focus on the different attributes of this particular uh, text box okay so what i'll do i'll just you know right click and view page source okay and let's i'll try to explain you know different attributes that you can pull up for this particular element so uh, so here uh, what we have seen is a class okay class of the element then let's try to find out other attributes like you know let's say i type as a value value as attribute let's see what it gives so if you could see it has a attribute called as value okay and the value is admin at the rate store.com so it has written you that now let's try to find out attribute as a type okay let's see what it returns so if you could see it has another type called as uh, attribute called as type and it has value of email so if you could see over here right it has returned that particular value now let's try to find this particular attribute data val required so you know i'll type that data dash val dash required so if you could see it has returned the value that is available for that attribute so this is how you know you can get the different attributes uh, of an element and this is how it, it internally works whenever you uh, you know call a method called as get attribute and pass that particular attribute right it basically calls an api and it returns you a value now let's try to uh, you know find how the get text command basically work so basically for this also what we need is you need a valid session id followed by the element id and what you want you wanted to retrieve a text okay or uh, uh, you wanted to retrieve a text by text of an element okay so for that what element we are referring is we are going to refer this well complete sign in we wanted to retrieve the text of this particular element so how i found that particular element is i created a xpath for that and again you know i had stored uh, this particular um, retrieved element into one variable called as get element text okay so quickly i'll hit this particular command so that value is available to us now let's try to execute this particular command so if you could see right it has returned me a well complete sign in okay so what it requires it requires two path variables a session id followed by a element id and what attribute or what information you wanted to retrieve so here i wanted to retrieve text okay now let's go on to the properties so basically again you know it's quite similar to attribute only difference is you have to pass the variable uh, path parameter as a property followed by the property name that you wanted to retrieve so if you could see right uh, it uh, i have passed over here as a property name and attribute so what it will do it will uh, you know give you all the attributes that are present on a particular element that you had specified okay so let's try to you know execute this okay it should give error because uh, this particular element is not yet identified that we are trying to give so if you could see right it is giving me an error saying that style element re uh, reference exception so you know this is how uh, you know you will be able to see on the ui as well right uh, whenever you are doing it through any uh, programming languages you get some error messages okay when you when the element is tell in that particular case so the the same reason is that this cell this session doesn't have this element identified so what i'll do i'll just quickly find that particular element and now let's try to execute uh, the properties part okay now the error should be gone and we should be able to retrieve the 
all the attributes of in the uh, all properties of the elements okay so if you could see right it has returned to each and every property of an element okay now let's try to do more stuff okay uh, you know let's try to uh, get a particular attribute let's say i wanted to find whether it has id or not so if you could see right it has returned me a remember me so i am trying to so this particular element is nothing but this checkbox okay and let's try to see in console as well whether that particular element has something or not so see if you could see it has returned me that id value okay now uh, let's try to find whether you know it has name or not so if you could see it has again returned me a value okay now let's try to find whether uh, let's say whether we can have a type property or not so if you could see it has returned me a checkbox and if you could see on the ui as well it is a type of a checkbox okay now you know let's try to change the element to say text box okay uh, and let's try to find out so it, if you could see right uh, we are trying to find this element but we don't have any properties or you know type of this particular element so it has returned me a null okay now let's try to make it to element id and c so if you could see the type it's email okay so now let's move on to the next command where you know we'll try to find out whether the element is selected or not so if you could see currently uh, the checkbox is not selected okay let whether let's see you know whether it is giving you a correct result or not so if you could see over here it has returned me a false okay now what we'll do we'll select the element okay using the command so this is a post request i'm just trying to click on that particular element so if you could see now the element is selected over here okay now let's try to find out through the api whether it is returning you true or not so if you could see the now value has been changed to true okay now let's move on to the next uh, tag or next uh, property uh, how you can get the tag name okay so here i am i'm passing two path parameters pa or path variable session id and element id followed by what input or what operation we wanted to do we wanted to retrieve the name so if i hit this so it has returned me a input type so basically these are nothing but the input types okay now let's try to find out uh, whether the element is enabled or disabled okay so uh, again you know the structure remains the same you have to path the session id element id followed by the operation okay so if you could see uh, so here the element is nothing but this admin text box and uh, sorry email text box and it is saying this element is enabled okay now uh, let's move on to the next command that is get page source okay how this command internally work so for that it requires only one param one path variable that is nothing but session id and then the operation so we wanted to get the entire source so if you could hit this command right or hit this api endpoint it will return you the entire page source okay now next command that is nothing but get cookies okay so again you know the syntax remains the same base url sessions followed by session id and the cookie so it will retrieve all the cookies that are present on this particular page so if you could see it it has written your array of values where you know you have different cookies values assigned okay so uh that's it for this video guys hope i uh, hope you you know able to catch up few things that has been explained so just to recap we have covered uh, all these different elements like get properties get element tag name is an ele is element enabled get page source get all cookies okay and thank you thanks for watching and happy learning stay tuned for more such videos thank you thanks for watching this video